So what is the difference between heat exhaustion and heat stroke? I'm an NHS doctor and this is what you need to know. Firstly, heat exhaustion happens when your body temperature gets too high and your body is essentially trying to cool itself down by sweating a lot. And you may start to feel dizzy, nauseated, clammy, weak, lethargic, and feel thirsty at the same time. For younger children, they may have some of these features, but they can also be very irritable. There are four things you can do to cool somebody down immediately if they have heat exhaustion. Number one, take them away from the sun and move them to a cool place or shade. Number Number two, remove all unnecessary clothes, and that includes socks as well. Number three, get them to drink cool water. And number four, try and cool their body down. That can be things like ice bags, so you can get a sponge with water, or if you've got a spray, you can spray them a little bit with water. And heat exhaustion can turn into heat stroke, which is a medical emergency. That means you need to call 999 if you think somebody's having heat stroke. At this point, people are feeling very, very unwell. Their skin might feel very dry, very hot, and for some people, they may look red as well. Remember, at this point, they're not creating sweats, so they're not clammy anymore. People may also be more confused, more muddled, and more disorientated than usual. They can then go on to have fits and seizures, and it's important if you see that happen, you put them in a recovery position. I know as a parent, it's a struggle to get kids to drink water, especially when it's hot weather like this, but I'd like you to imagine this kind of hot weather that we're having day in, day out, and being a parent who has no water to give to your kid, who has no food to give to your children, um, who has no hospital to take your kid if they have heat stroke, because 94% of the hospitals in your area have been destroyed. Imagine you're a parent in a place called Gaza and you're living through a genocide, a genocide that a lot of the media and a lot of the world is in complete denial about, or just doesn't really care about. I just wanna make sure I use my voice and this small platform that I have to raise awareness that genocide is still being committed by Israel in Gaza, that they are on a daily basis unaliving children, their starving parents, and anybody that goes to seek aid, that they've systematically destroyed the healthcare system of a nation. 